Hello, my name is Kyle Horn, and this year for 4-H, I chose to do 4-H filmmaking. I chose to do a documentary film capturing the process of me fly fishing, from tying a fly to catching a fish with that fly. As you can see, I'm at my fly tying station here, and I'm going to show you how to tie a fly. To start off tying your own fly, you'll first need to gather your materials. I will be making a destroyer fly. I've gathered some scissors, a bobbin with some black thread, a hook, a bead head, some black yarn, and then some nice hackle, red and black hackle. I have also have my vise in front of me that I will be securing the hook in while I create the fly. To start off tying the destroyer fly, I'll put the bead on the hook and then go ahead and tighten it in my vise. I'll start off with some small wraps of black wire all the way to the back of the hook and back to the front again and I'll end up in the back of the hook go ahead and cut the excess off and then gonna take small hackle for the tail of the fly Put one loose wrap, proceeding with a bunch of tight wraps to secure that tail of the fly in. You can cut the excess off of that as well. I'll put some more wraps on there just to secure it in. I'll take thin black yarn, and this adds a little bit of a body to the fly also allowing it to sink a little bit better. I see a fly is trying to help me. And cut the excess off that as well. I'll finish with the wraps at the back of the hook. And I'll give me a longer piece of hackle that I can use as the body of the fly. So I'll do one loose wrap, proceeding with a bunch of tighter wraps, and end in the front of the hook, or of the fly. Then I'll take this hackle and I'll wrap it around the body lots of times to create the body of the fly. It's really important that I keep it tight and then I'll go ahead and wrap it, secure it down onto the fly. And I'll cut the excess off that as well. I'll take these loose hackle and I'll bring it back so I can finish off the head of the fly. Get two whip finishes in there with my fingers just to secure that wire on there. And I'll cut that excess off as well. And then I'll trim it, trim the fly up a little bit. So the fish don't have to question. And that is how you tie the destroyer fly. Now we'll go ahead and tie it onto my fly rod and head out to a lake. Here at my fly tying station, I have my fly rod. This is a seven foot Eagle Claw fly rod with a cheap Amazon fly fishing reel. Fly rods usually have three different types of line. Fly line, leader, and the tippet. The fly line is connected to the leader and the leader is connected to the tippet. At the end of the tippet is the fly. As you could see, I tied the fly onto the tippet with an improved clinch knot that I learned from my wildlife project a couple years ago. Since my fly rod is prepared, I am ready to go to a lake and try to catch some fish with the fly.
Hello, I'm here at one of Colorado's high mountain lakes. I have the fly tied on to my fly rod. We're gonna troll it behind the boat here and see if we can catch a nice rainbow trout. We are trolling with the fly rod off the boat, hoping to catch a nice rainbow. Caught a fish trolling on the fly. I'm bringing him up here to the boat. Feels like a decent sized one. It's coming here at the end of the boat. Really nice rainbow. Right here on the old fly. I'll go ahead and take the hook out of his mouth. We'll go ahead and release him back into the water. There he goes. Just like that, that's how you catch a fish on your own fly.